Next is problem number 14 and here we are given sample data about the number of flaws in one inch thick steel plate and there are 10 steel plates and from each steel plate we have the number of flaws. So, here we have to make a decision whether is this a P chart or a C chart. For us to be able to find P, you should be able to divide that 6 by a sample size. Okay. But these are not sample sizes, this is just one sheet, there are 6 flaws in it, the second sheet has one flaw in it and so on. So, this is a C chart. So, this is C chart. we need to find C bar. So, for that we need the sum of these numbers which is 18. So, C bar is 18 over there are 10 sheets. So, that is 1.8 and we will use 3 sigma limits because that is the default. So, control limits are the formula is C bar plus or minus 3 times square root of C bar which is 1.8 plus or minus 3 times square root of 1.8. So, our lower control limit for C is 1.8 minus 4.02 which is minus 2.22, but we can have negative value. So, this should be converted to 0 then upper control limit for C is 1.8 plus 4.02 and that is equal to 5.82. Now, if you compare again we will skip plotting the values. So, if you compare these are the two limits with the number of flaws and you see sheet number 1. So, C for sheet number 1 falls outside the upper control limit of C. So, the process is not in control. We have to look for assignable causes.